Horse Racing's new National Governing Authority will hold an emergency summit at Churchill Downs tomorrow. It comes after 12 horse deaths there in just over a month. Our Eric Crawford joins us now. And Eric, you have covered Churchill Downs for a very long time. So how unusual is it to see something like this? Well, it's pretty unusual not necessarily to see horse deaths because those happen around the country. We've seen these things at other tracks. Churchill Downs is having an issue right now. What's new is that we have not had a national governing authority come in to look at it. This is the first real national crisis for this group and it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Obviously, I think they want to put their best foot forward, be seen as being very proactive and send a good message coming out of this. Kind of seems like a big deal. So what do you expect to happen at this summit? Well, the good thing about this is that it gets all of the kind of the stakeholders together. You've got a groups of veterinarians from the state. The state of Kentucky has been doing its own investigations into these deaths and has been getting data all along. The uh, HISA, this authority has been getting data. Churchill has run tests on its track. The, the governing authority is bringing somebody else to come in and do independent tests of the track. All of this information will come together with all of these stakeholders and groups, and they'll see what they can figure out about these horse deaths, which have been from a variety of factors. And, you know, when we're talking about what caused them, do we have yeah. any idea at this point what may have caused the deaths? That's the difficult part of it. You, you really, what Churchill's focused in is anything with, with the track causing these deaths. They don't know. They hope not, but that's what you're trying to find out with all this examination of the track. We have to look at the age of the horses running. You have to say, is something going on in veterinary that's clearing horses to run that shouldn't be? All of that is going to be on the table, and I don't think there's any one thing that we can say right now. This is what it is. All right, maybe answers coming in the next couple of days. Thanks, Eric. Stay with us as we continue to cover the summit on air and online at WDRB.com.